Do a Game of Thrones style intro. Um, yeah, I was killed off, actually, during the opening credits, so I don't know what to do now. Have you always looked like you were about 10... Oh, no, that's not a question. It's abuse. What is your favourite FIFA? 2003. Why? When you see my face, I'm you hell, I'm you hell. When did you first get your braces? Well, the thing is, I was only meant to have them on for about a year and a half to start off with, and I got them in April in lower sixth which is like lower sixth form in England. So that was two, about two and a half years ago now. So already a year over how long it was supposed to be. The dentist who actually started my treatment has completely left the clinic now. So clearly my teeth were so bad. They were just like, it is someone else's mess to clean up now. It was a bit like this. Okay, next patient. I don't know, Chris, M Chris MD, does that? <clears throat> is there a Chris MD here? Hello, Dr. Smith, how are you? Oh, Jesus Christ, what is <sighs> don't want to see that ever again in my lifetime. Yeah, Sue, I'm going to have to attend that urgent meeting in Europe right now. Yeah, that one. Well, to be honest, it's this case is just beyond saving point, and it's, it's one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. Sitting right here. The latest news is I'm going to be able to take them off in about six months, so that's going to be amazing for everyone when that finally happens. Sanchez to Man United or Jurassic World to be cancelled? I'm starting to realise I probably should have answered these questions when they were asked. Oh, that's a question and a half. Um, I mean, I don't judge people by their film interests, but... If you say you weren't excited for Jurassic World, then you're either lying or you're a fat, ugly loser with no luck. I'm going to have to go unsee Jurassic World. I couldn't deal with another Arsenal player going to United. So, uh, little fun fact for you, by the way. I've got the same first and middle name as Chris Pratt. So, so today I'm joined by my sister, Kelly. Hi, guys. Who is going to be in charge of the TENS machine and uh, basically administering all the shocks and stuff. Which took slightly too little persuading for my liking, but, um... What can I say? I'm a loving sister. Right, so do you want to have this? Okay. So I've seen a few other people do this on YouTube, mainly Joe Sugg. I think he did it first, so I'll leave the link to his video in the description below. But what we're going to be doing is basically moving it to kind of more painful body parts within a limit <laughs> as I concede more goals and um, kind of keeping it at the same level. We've sort of had a bit of a... Test run. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I think this is where we're going to start. We're going to go one on forearm, one on kind of outside of the arm. Um, I think that's a good place to start. Do you feel safe? No, not at all. So yeah, I've essentially got my life in Kelly's hands now, which is what you want on a Sunday afternoon. Let's just turn the mood up to 10. No, let's not. I love the way you advise, Kelly. <laughs> oh, no, that was way too hard. No, messy, messy, <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> oh, well done. Great, right, that's a good start. Well done, everyone. You almost deserve a shock just for that. <laughs> no, that don't. Wait, why? <laughs> oh my god, why didn't I look at the instructions? Stop, stop. Get what? Oh my god. <laughs> nah, seriously, what is. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I've got to come up with a code word, so. Messy. Code. No, not messy. Code word, now. Marmalade. Marmalade, okay. Marmalade. Ready? I've had to put on extra deodorant for this. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, okay, no, that's that's not that bad actually. You're gonna keep it on for five seconds. Oh, it was five seconds. It was not five seconds. I oh, oh my god! Oh, is that about five seconds now? I think it is, Kelly. Okay, that's oh, it. Okay. <laughs> I was counting. Right, that wasn't too bad. I reckon we should maybe. Okay. Put it up to seven. Right, we're gonna change it a little bit. Basically, instead of just doing it so I know when the shock is coming, we're gonna do it so every time I can see, Kelly can then. Well, has like one shock to use at some point in the game. So it's a happy surprise. No, no, that is just not one, two. Would you rather give up FIFA or in real life football for life? Just just to clear things up, Dumbia and Ibarbo have just moved to the same club. So can you do some more football skills? So because I showed you lot my juggling skills in my 200k q and I think it was, I thought it was about time we did the crossbar challenge. Well, I say we, I'm doing it by myself. 
because I've got no mates. Now, I'm just going to apologise in advance. I've still got this groin strain that I mentioned in my 200k. Yes, from playing football. Grow up. So I'm going to be taking these shots left-footed. So, yeah, apologies for the girly kick, really. Again, I'm not a Barca fan, but I've gone for the Barca kit because I'm, you know, thinking Lionel Messi instead of Neymar this time. There's actually quite a lot of pressure on these kicks. There's a road right there, and there's a group of builders literally just watching me talking to a camera here. So if my left foot means I'm going to be here for, you know, an hour, this could become quite embarrassing. Um, this is also a primary pitch, I should probably point out. God, that was an embarrassment to the FIFA community. Any money, one of these two hits the bar. These are my two that I haven't taken. Nope, never mind. Do people recognise you if you're out on the streets? If yes, do you like it? The thing is, I don't get recognised in normal places. Like, my two first recognitions were... One of them was when I was in a cafe, a skiing cafe, in Glencoe in Scotland. And the other was when I was in a cafe with my granny in Yorkshire. So, but if you ever do see me in public, like, come up and say hello, you know, get a picture, whatever. Just, it's so much less awkward for me and you if you, you know, come up and actually speak to me about it than just sort of... Then I notice that you recognise me, but you just stand there taking a picture of me, whatever I'm doing in everyday life, you know. Like, it doesn't happen to me a lot, but... Um, sorry, yes, um, three tomatoes, please. What is your yearly goal? Well, after I decided not to go to uni this year, I sort of said to myself... If I've got 400,000 subscribers by like, you know, July, the summer, this year, then I'll sort of continue doing YouTube, um, and it's sort of worth pursuing, um, and, you know, it's January, well, it was January that I hit 400,000, and, like, I'm already there, so, I'd probably say, if I was gonna put another target on for this time, for hitting by Christmas, I, I just... It's got to be a million subscribers, really, hasn't it? One million is the mark on YouTube when you sort of know that... I don't know. One million is the, is the you've made it mark. Do you know what I mean? When do you get your braces off? I was actually meant to get them off before the summer. No, in the summer. End of the summer, sorry. This Easter, they're meant to come off. So, yeah, that's not actually that long away now. Um, hopefully that happens and my videos will be a lot more easy to watch and I'll actually be able to take photogenic pictures. DRB spends life in... It's not really... A question is it? Probably not a common opinion, but I think DRB's dead. What would you learn to do if you could skip 10,000 hours of learning? That's a good question, by the way. I would learn to whistle with my fingers. Like, I've never been able to come close to doing that, and it's just, it's so useful. Like, yeah, I could be a, a professional footballer, but could I whistle with my fingers? So, who really wins at life here? So, and you regret doing. Um, this is gonna have to be recreated to try and help me explain how I managed to do this. So I was warming up for a game of tennis. Uh, this was about 10 years ago now, but I was just, you know, doing a few practice swings, decided I'd practice the action of my serve. I should also point out this was on a tennis court, not in my back garden. I wasn't just trying to whack out a cheeky game of tennis in the backyard. Anyway, you're probably wondering how exactly someone not even playing tennis, but practicing to play tennis could descend into a bad situation. Well, You'd be surprised. So I was taking my practice swing of my serve, and uh, I took the back swing. Everything was fine, you know, I loved the world. Everything was good. The next second, it wasn't. For some reason, I swung my racket so hard that at the bottom of my swing, it flew out my hand, hit the floor, bounced back up, hit me in the face, and I had to go to hospital to get stitches. <laughs> Luckily, the only people there were my parents, but yep, fairly certain I regret doing that. In here is probably the best place to show you, so you got a bit of a house tour, a bathroom. Anyway, um, if I kind of slightly frown, I don't know if you can see it right, just there. Can we get rid of focusing? There. So there's the scar. <laughs> it's just in my eyebrow. It's such an inconvenient place to have stitches. <sighs> Henri, what a goal! In 
inspiration for Arsenal from Thierry Henry. Well, you wax lyrical about Ryan Giggs is in the FA Cup semi-final. Have a look at one of the greatest goals I've seen on this ground. That's deliberate. That's majestic. Sheer brilliance. Sheer brilliance. That's all you can say about that piece of football from a talented, talented footballer. I'm very well, mate. Thanks for having me on the channel. No worries, no worries. Now, recently I scored a goal at Wembley from centre mid, they all count. And Spencer captained the team to victory, also from centre mid, also at Wembley. You know what, it's funny you say that, Chris, because I actually happen to have this by my feet, oh, just hanging around. It's just there. It's the. Uh, it's only the Wembley Cup, isn't it? There it is, Which it actually happened. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I do remember. It was remember a good it. day, mate. It was a good day. Mwah. But despite all that, me and Spencer still both play competitive football at the Sunday League level. I played today, mate. I played this morning. <laughs> he did, he that's, did. That's why I've got these that's weird red the lines. commitment levels. But Son. I just feel like it's important to keep in touch with your roots, sort of remember where you came from, you know. So what we're going to be doing today is trying to find out who is the ultimate Sunday League midfielder. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some football challenges but with a Sunday league twist. So not your typical penalty shootout and crossbar challenge. They're going to be a little bit different. Yeah, exactly. And whoever loses gets rad -assed. You're never too old for that. No. Now 95%, well I'd say 95% of Sunday league consists of massive long punts just up the pitch. So what I'm saying is you've got to be quite good at them. You've got to be accurate at them. <gasps> so the first challenge is going to be crossbar challenge. Yes. And we've all had that dodgy occasion where you turn up for football and you've forgotten your kit. You open your bag, there's no boots. The boot bag's just not there. So what we're saying is, you know, you have to swap your boots with pretty much whoever's in the changing rooms, those dodgy Adidas trainers that are just left in the changing rooms. Like one of the subs or something gives you his boots. The ones that have just been there for like six oh, months. Oh yeah, oh god, yeah. So, um, to me it's a little bit more interesting. Spencer's gonna try and squeeze into my size sevens, and um, I'm gonna have a go with his size tens. This could be interesting. It could be very interesting. So, what we're going to be doing is taking shots from the edge, well, no, inside the D. Basically, whoever hits the crossbar first wins this challenge. Spence, good luck. Yep, it's a swapsy. I think I've pretty much come off best here. What you size know? are you? I'm seven. Ah. Good luck. <laughs> okay, this could be the end of my football career. This is my toe. It's like this. It's like a lobster. It's like claw. Look, that's my knuckle of my toe there. If you just zoom out <laughs> a bit, though, it just looks so wrong. <laughs> like, I mean, oh, high heels. Spencer's gonna be the guest he's suffering, so we're gonna let him go first, quick as possible. Go on. Alright. I don't know if I can get the ball in the air. This is a Actually hurts a lot. Oh no. Okay. It's like two complete contrasts. <laughs> go on. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> go on. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this is Get the ball. This is actually impossible. Get the ball. <laughs> that is misery. Oh, it's too much. Too much. I don't think one of mine has actually reached the goal without bouncing yet, so. Oh, mate. Come on! <laughs> no, no, that is a joke. No. And mine was closer. It's available. I'm losing, I'm losing the blood. <gasps> it's coming. Go on! Oh, poppycock! No! Oh, you're you're a good luck of all. Watch and learn. Ah. <laughs> no! Oh, oh my gosh! No, get this one out of the way first because it'll be nice quick. Yes. Go on! Yeah! <laughs> get them off me! He's beating me. Thank God. Right, I got one chance to redeem myself. Not sure I really want to. Spencer's been pretty much put for enough pain on this channel already. No. Oh my word. Thank God for that. Wait. It's videos that have been uploaded to my YouTube channel in the past, but since then I've made private, so only I can see them basically. There are reasons why I don't want to share these videos with the world, which you'll see. So um, now I'm going to share these videos with the world. But first, we're going to have to go to one of the darkest places we've ever been to in one of my videos, okay? The 13th page of my uploads. 
to get the ball rolling, this is the first video to date on my YouTube channel. I did actually upload some before this as well, but I've deleted them since and they're on another channel. You guys might remember the Nerf Wars, I might have mentioned them before. But anyway, that's a story for a completely different video. Today we're looking at this video titled Tight, tighted, tight. No, that is a good word to be fair. So uploaded on the 19th of July 2010 and titled Modded Nerf Vulcan EBF 25 plus shooting test. Almost got 5,000 views before I privated it. And uh, I mean, look at that like dislike ratio, you know, even back then I just had it. Okay, right. If we can just all mentally prepare ourselves, that would be just brilliant. Um, Just lower your expectations and sort of viewing of me as a YouTuber. I should probably explain what these are, by the way. Nerf guns are like little plastic guns that shoot plastic darts, and I went for a stage where I was just absolutely obsessed with them. And what I did in this video, I had this Nerf Vulcan, which is kind of like a machine gun turret plastic gun. And I kind of modified it, sawed off a bit of it, and I wanted to, you know, share it with the world. Okay, right, we ready? Let's Come on, let's do this together. Here we go. We've got a title so far. Hi. This is a video about my modified Nerf Vulcan, and um, what I've done is I've taken out the air restrictors on the belt, and I've taken out the air restrictor in the actual gun. Um, I've also sawed off the... <laughs> oh, the voice alone, <laughs> just what was I doing in my life? I don't know if any of you have seen Simon's um, reacting to old videos, but um, we've got an intro to rival his now. Let's just appreciate this again. Hi, this is... Okay, no, no, no let's, let's give... Previous me benefit of the doubt and my modified Nerf Vulcan, and um, what I've done is I've taken out the air restrictors on the belt, and I've taken out the air stuff, okay. in the actual gun. Did. Um, well, I've also sawed off the front and glued a few parts on to make it more accurate. Um, and <laughs> oh my god! Uh, Why did I cut this video? You know, I knew that I had my audience in the palm of my hand, you know. I was captivating them with these slow pauses, you know, the soothing tones. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, I'll probably put a picture of the original gun on the side or something now, but you can see I like sword, sword, is that a, that's, that must be a word. Oh, come on. This is what being a FIFA YouTuber does to you. I, I'm actually gonna have to look this up. Sword? Sawn? What? I, I sawed. Yeah, I sawed. Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. So I sawed off the front of this gun and, um, you know, glued a few parts on. I was really happy with this, you know. It Basically, I sawed off the front because uh, the actual bit that fired the gun was further back and this huge barrel just made them all deflect and go in all kinds of directions. So I knew my stuff about Nerf guns, you know. You can't deny that. So uh, I felt like I wanted to put it into a YouTube video and um, clearly also felt that I hadn't experienced enough bullying in my life yet. I can't even be angry about the like-dislike ratio. I would have 100% disliked after after the high. Okay, so shooting test from there to that wall. Let me explain it so we don't have to sit through any more of this soothing tones. So, yeah, okay. Okay, the camera's on the top of the gun. So. I love the way I felt the need to tell you guys that the camera was on top of the gun, despite the fact it just took 10 seconds, completely wasted time, putting it on top of the gun, onto the shooting test. Look out for the sheer power. Oh, right, that could kill a man. Sir Alex Ferguson, where are you, mate? Yeah, look at this. Look at I thought slow motion was just so sick in those days. That would just show the sheer power. Can I just say, I'm asking myself every two seconds why I'm actually showing you guys this. Quite a lot more powerful than it was before. And that's it. <laughs> I, love, I don't know if you guys can hear that. I love the way I left in like a, a bit of me going like uh, at the end and just, just straight cut it out. Wow. How many times did I watch that video f through before I uploaded it? Safe to say, I think it would probably be about two or three times because if anyone watches that video any more times, you'll become mentally unstable. Right. Next episode. So please subscribe, like this video and...